When you're ready to move on to the next step, you'll need your warped loom. I've got white warp string here. And you'll need some more string of the same type, but you could use a different color if you'd like. We also need a long, about six inch needle for bead weaving and a little piece of paper cut, which will be our needle threader. So here's how to thread your needle. You're gonna take your extra piece of string, which is gonna be your bead weaving string. This should be the length of, uh, let's say you hold one side in your right hand, it needs to stretch all the way across to your left shoulder. So it should be hand to opposite shoulder length. So a little bit more than half a wingspan. And now what you need to do is grab your little piece of paper. You're going to make sure it's folded in half and put your string in between that folded part. And then with that folded paper, you're gonna put it through the eye of the needle and pull it through until your string goes through the eye of the needle. And then you can set that piece of paper aside. Don't put it away, because you'll probably need it later. Now you're ready to start your bead weaving. This step is something we're gonna do at the very beginning of our bead weaving and at the very end. It's gonna ensure that our beads don't fall off after we're totally done with the weaving. Um, it's gonna make it so they don't fall off that warp string. What I'm doing here is sending my threaded needle up and down through my warp strings. So under one, over one, under one, over one, etc. And then by the time I get to the top here, I'm gonna pull most of that string up until I have just a couple inches left as a tail. And then I'm gonna go back the opposite way. So if you notice here, that top string, that last string that I got over that warp one um, is over the warp string, which means I need to go under the warp string to go back. Because of course, if we went back the exact same way we came, uh, it would just undo what we did. So I'm going back and forth under the opposite warp strings. When I get to the end, I'm gonna pull this beading string a little bit taut, not too tight, but just so that it's nice and snug. Then I'm pushing all of these uh, pieces up to this very end of my loom here. And then I'm gonna tie it off at the bottom. And after I've tied it off, I'm gonna tuck that little extra piece of string up into one of my loom teeth. I like to do a double or a triple knot here just for extra safety. If you do a single knot, it is most definitely gonna come undone. And then as you can see, I'm gonna tuck it right up here in between a couple teeth. Now you're ready to bead weave.